Oh, hey everybody, welcome. It is Jenna's Picks Live and I'm your host, Jenna. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Hello, I am not late today. It is, oh, it's 9.03. How did that happen? <laughs> I literally was down here and I was like, I'm gonna be on at nine o'clock. And honestly though, like this is pretty good for me to have like nothing, well, actually I shouldn't even say to have nothing go wrong, but you know, to have no technical difficulty like right before, like right before I'm about to go on. Um, so yeah, it was, I had a little bit of a uh, technical issue during dinner, so I didn't get to have dinner with the family, but all good for the start time of the show. So welcome. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Christina. Hello. Hello. Oh, my mom waiting on Jenna. How long were you waiting for me? Three minutes. I think that that was pretty good timing for me, you guys. Um, welcome to the show. My name is Jenna. If you don't know me, I think, hi Robin. I think we're going to have some, uh, new faces on tonight. I've had a lot of, um, people asking for the YouTube link, which is great. I'm so excited to be able to reach more people with this platform. So excited to expand our little community here into a medium sized community. So when, if, and when, when, not if, when new people come on, uh, we will welcome them and kind of catch them up. And I think they'll know pretty, pretty soon what kind of show this is. It's kind of, it's taken on its own form, you know? So Robin just spent like 11 days in Aruba and now she's back in New England and it is frigid. So I would love to know, we'll talk about it more in the uh, middle of the show, like when more people come on, but what is everybody wearing this weekend? Like, can we talk about that? Because I did a whole, I mean, we knew it wasn't going to be warm, but we did a whole live, was it last, was, well, it was last week, on Easter outfits. And I am like, it's going to be like 40 degrees. What are we all wearing? I mean, of course, there's that blazer, the blazer and blouse outfit um, that I could wear that I showed you guys. But I mean, I just want to be curled up in like a sweatshirt. I don't even want to wear anything nice. <laughs> Um, Christina said, I wish there was a way to see you close and the comments too. If I expand the screen, I can't see the comments. Anyone else? Oh, interesting. I didn't think about that. Christina, where are you watching from? Are you watching on a phone, a tablet, a computer? Um, because YouTube rolled out their, um, like full screen, sort of like real, um, the nine by 16, which is how I'm filming this for you guys so that you could see like a full body. And when you watch it on your phone, it's great. When you watch it on a tablet, it's great. When you watch it on a computer, it probably is a little bit smaller. So that might be the issue. But of course, because it's a shoe live, I want you guys to be able to see the shoes and everything. So that's why I have it in the nine by 16 ratio. But let me know if you, uh, how you are watching it. Because if you're watching um, on your phone, like normally like this, just switch it to how you would scroll Instagram and then it gets full screen. Um, she said, I'm hosting, I have no, uh, oh, Christina said, oh, so Christina, you are on your phone. Okay. So when you're watching it, are you using it this way? Because if you use it this way, you could see me like full body and it's, I mean, I think it's pretty close. Um, but if you're watching it this way, then it's a little bit far away. So I know with most YouTube videos, we tend to just automatically turn the phone, um, horizontal, but they rolled out the new feature that you can actually do it the way you would watch an Instagram reel. So hopefully that works for you because when I open it up, let's see. Um, I turn my phone off here. When I open it up, it is like, it's pretty big. So you could see like full length. That's obviously the live uh, from the other week. So I tried to keep it consistent. So I wore the same top just in a different color. You guys all liked it last time. So I wore that one, um, but you can see I'm literally wearing, oh, can you see there? The same, pretty much the same outfit, just in a different color scheme for you guys, because it's all about the shoes tonight. So I did part one for you guys a couple of weeks ago, then we took a break and now we, <laughs> Robin says, don't drop the mug, Jenna, mine shattered everywhere. I only have one left. Okay, so before I get into the shoes, a little bit about these coffee mugs. They are my favorite. But Robin, you are 100% correct. When you drop it, they shatter. They are the perfect, they're double walled. They honestly feel more like plastic, like plexiglass than actual glass, but they're glass. Because when you drop it, it shatters everywhere. We have them in espresso cups 
and I dropped like the whole case of espresso cups and they all shattered everywhere. It was a disaster. Um, Greg will never let me live it down. He now has, I'm not allowed to touch the cabinet where the espresso cups go because he's the only one that drinks espresso. So literally he's the only one that gets them out. They're in like a special area and I'm not allowed to go into it because it was like, it fell out of the cabinet and just like the whole thing shattered. So yes, if you drop these, they shatter everywhere, but I do have a rug. So hopefully that um, helps the situation, but yeah, it is not great. <laughs> Hi Effie, how are you? How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, okay, so Christina says she has no clue, probably just a nice sweater for what she's going to wear. I know. I'm like, I want to do a nice sweater, but I'm also like over sweater season. Like, can it just be warm? Because I have like all these nice clothes and I'm trying to model all these nice clothes for you and it's not warm yet. It's annoying. But we are going to be getting into some warm weather stuff because I know that people are taking vacations and all that kind of stuff is coming up. I'm taking a vacation soon. I can't believe how soon it is. Um, so we will get into all of that too. But tonight... It's about the shoes and I actually pulled my computer closer, but now you guys can see it. So I'm going to pu push it back a little bit because I want you guys to be able to see my absolute new favorite pair, of, uh, favorite new pair of shoes. I have a bunch to show you tonight. Not too many. I split it up. So we did part one a couple of nights ago or a couple of weeks ago. Then we did an Easter in between, which was a great idea because I don't know if you heard the news, if you guys are following me on Instagram or not. But all the Target shoes right now are buy one, get one 50% off. And you guys know I love me some Target shoes and I'm pretty sure every pair that I'm showing you tonight is from Target. So make sure if you guys want them, you grab them because sizes are selling out like crazy. I went on a hunt. I will actually never forgive myself. <laughs> Effie, I know Effie's watching. She told me about this pair of black sandals that I loved, but she told me about it after I already ordered all of my other shoes, so I didn't have anything to meet the $35 free shipping, and I was like, I hate paying for shipping. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just get them like on the next time I order stuff from Target, and I went to buy them, and they're sold out everywhere. You can't buy them online, you can't get them in store anywhere, so I'm like kicking myself. So Effie, if you were able to get those shoes, I'm so jealous, um, but I will never stop looking because they are cute, and I did, um, Put them on my links for the shoes tonight just in case they you guys are not from around here and they're um in your local target but they're they were in no targets from here to new york because as you guys know i went to connecticut on tuesday to get a little haircut fix so we'll talk about that too but i was going to stop into any target that had the shoes and they didn't so my advice is if you like shoes, get them tonight. The sale goes through March 30th. So I think you still have two, two days on the sale. So I would say definitely grab them and they're so good. And you'll definitely meet the minimum because all the shoes are between like 20 and $35 and then they're 50% off, which is amazing. So we want to make sure that you guys get all the shoes that you want. Um, and I was at Target today trying on the shoes, sweating my booty off because there's so many to choose from, but I didn't buy anything. I will tonight off your live. Christina, I'm going to cry. Thank you so much. <laughs> that honestly means so much to me. And I do the same thing. I go in store and if I feel like I need to buy them now, then I'll buy them and then I'll kick myself because I'll be like, oh, I could have used my links for this. So I really, really appreciate that. As you guys know, um, purchasing from my links does not cost you guys anything, but it helps me and hopefully will help me be able to do more cool things with this show. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for using my links. As always, you can find the links to all the shoes that I'm showing tonight in the description of this YouTube video. And you can also find them on my like to know it, which I will show you guys how to do right now quickly before I move into it. So this is the, uh, link that you can find on my Instagram. So when you open that link in my bio, you will see my YouTube, my like to know it and my Amazon storefront. If you click the like to know it, you'll get, well, actually let's just click it. If you click the like to know it, you'll see all these different things that I posted, but under the collection of Jenna's picks, that's where everything that I post for the live is going to, all the lives that I do. And then they're all here. So the Easter live I did last week is here. The part one is right over here. The good American one's right here. Target clothes is right here. So everything's there. This is the one we're doing tonight and all the shoes are in here. So some that we did last week are in there as well if they fit because you're only allowed to have a certain amount in the like one like to know it post. So you just click on the shoes. So these are the shoes that I'm wearing right now. And you can see one deal for this item. 
buy one, get one 50% off. So these come in a couple of different colors. We'll talk all about that too. But look at that, $29.99. And then you get the other one for half off or vice versa. So definitely a great time to do this live. I'm really glad that I took a week off because I was going to do them back to back, like part one, part two. But then I wanted to give you guys time to buy Easter stuff. So it's a good thing that I took it off because now they're all half off, which is great. Um, I found a beautiful pair in Aruba. They were $108. The name was Exy. No, I've never heard of that, Robin. Um, okay. Yes, the packing cubes. The packing cubes are where it's at for sure. I'm glad you guys love them. If you need any, if you guys are going on vacation and you need any travel tips, I did a travel essentials live when I came back from Israel and a lot of the stuff like the packing cubes, phone chargers and everything are on that live as well. I bought the black flat shoes from Target off your live and I love them. Okay, Janice, I'm interested to know which ones those are. Are they, I think I'm going to be showing them tonight and I'm interested to hear your take on them because I did not find them that comfortable. So we're going to talk all about that. But the black and beige ones, the sort of like Chanel looking ones, obsessed with them. So we'll talk all about that. But I'm going to start with this first pair that I have because this was a last minute find. As I was looking at all of the shoes that were, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, all these shoes are buy one, get one 50% off. I have to see if there's anything that I missed because I really wanted those black shoes that Effie told me about. So I was like going to combine them. And then of course they were sold out. So I found these and I was like, are they too similar? Like I already have a loafer that I showed you guys last week that I love, but these are different. So if you guys are looking for a mule that you can also wear work appropriate, um, event appropriate, girls brunch, um, school pickup, literally, I wear my mules all the time and these are so cute because they're like a loafer mule. So they're even more, let me just get that focus on, there we go. So they're even more um, like dressy sort of, or like conservative. You guys know I keep talking about like that boss wear trend, the trousers, the blazers, the loafers, all the button down shirts, all that stuff is super, super popular right now. And this is no exception because it looks like a loafer and I love mules because they're so comfortable and you don't have to bend down to put them on. You don't have to like wiggle your foot and break the back. You literally just slide them on and they're really comfortable. So I bought the off-white ones because I just thought they were so cute for spring. And like I said, I'm freaking over this winter weather. So they do come in black. So if you're interested, if you wear a lot of black or you wear a lot of deeper colors or you're working and you want just another pair of shoes, they're $29.99 get both of them and then you get 150% off. So these are really great. Um, I saw your YouTube on the chamois hair towel today. Sherry, that was the first commercial. I think, was that the first commercial I ever did? It was one of the first commercials I ever did was the chamois hair turban twist, which I still use by the way. <laughs> I use it every night in the shower or every night, every morning when I take a shower. Um, yeah, so that was the first commercial I ever did. If you want to go back into my YouTube, you can see, um, my commercial reels and all that stuff. Um, lots of commercials when I was younger. So this live hosting has kept me pretty busy, I will say, but commercials are fun, especially that one was pretty fun too, but lots of behind the scenes stories for that. We can talk about that another time if you want. I'll just give you, so you guys know, well, should I tell you the story now? Basically, you guys all go watch it and then we'll talk about the behind the scenes of it because that was an experience, uh, albeit uh, a fun one, but definitely an unconventional one. Lots of stuff happens for movie magic behind the scenes for commercials and all that. Um, but anyway, so yes, everybody needs these. I agree, Robin. They are so cute. And I'm actually going to show you guys the difference between the loafer that I showed last week that I'm obsessed with. So these loafers also come in black, but it's like a black leather and these are like a beige suede and I just thought they were so great for um, like the spring and the summer. So I'll show you the difference between the two of them because they really are different shoes. I mean, obviously they look the same, but they have that lightish gold buckle on them, like the gold hardware. And then of course this one is like the leather material. This one is the suede. And you can wear them for the same things. Like if I wore these right now, see how it's just like not that easy to put these on as opposed to like the mule. That's what I'm talking about. So I could wear these for sure. But the thing is like if you're wearing a gray color palette, I just love the way cream looks with it. It's so nice and fresh. And even black looks good too. Like I could get away with wearing this. 
but would look better if I were wearing the beige one of this that I was wearing last time. And then you could wear this color too with the beige. So I just feel like having two different colors, even though they're light, still is beneficial in your wardrobe, I will say. Especially if you're not spending like $200 on a pair of shoes. For instance, the loafers that I searched high and low for for the fall were... Were they Steve Madden, Vince Camuto, a designer brand that I bought at DSW? And they were a pretty hefty chunk of money. They were like $80, something like that. So I will not buy another pair of black loafers because I'm like, I spent money on those. So even like this, I was like, I'm not buying these because I already have black loafers. Meanwhile, it's patent leather and I feel like it's not really in for spring. But that's what happens when you spend a lot of money on something. You don't, you're not so inclined to buy a similar looking thing. Meanwhile, these two shoes serve the same purpose for different outfits. So if you guys do a lot of dressing up, I like the trendy, comfortable, elevated look. So I'm a, I'm a flats person. So I feel like I can never have enough, like, I don't know, trendy, comfortable, elevated footwear that goes with different outfits. So I really like the way the cream color one looks with an outfit like I'm wearing right now, but then this one goes with pretty much everything too. So this one is also linked. Um, I took true to size in both of them. When I first put these mules on, I thought they were going to be too small because I was like, oh, I don't want my heel to hang off the back of it, especially because it has some memory foam like right to the tip. And then sometimes around the edging, I get like a blister on my foot. But the more that I'm wearing them, the more I know that these are my size. So they definitely conform to fit your foot. And I have room and I'm not touching the back of them. And I just really love the way they look. Trendy, comfortable, casual, also trendy, comfortable, elevated, which you guys know you can wear with skirts, that long denim skirt that I'm going to be styling for you guys next week. Um, trousers, shorts, jeans, anything. So I would highly, highly recommend these. And of course, I love a good loafer if you don't already have one in your wardrobe. And again, these are all buy one, get one 50% off. So kind of makes sense if you guys don't have one to grab them. Let's see what everybody's saying on the bar scene on your YouTube channel. I didn't know you had that side of you. It's called acting, Christina. So it's not me, it's acting. Uh, but yeah, that scene I shot, Christina is referring to a scene from a film that I did where I was a sexy bartender and we had like a scene where, you know, everybody was getting drunk at the bar and I was giving everybody shots and it was like, it was crazy. And it was like a two, three o'clock in the morning shoot because that's what happens when you have to like rent out a bar. And it was like the week before my wedding. <laughs> and I was like, I don't really think I should take this job. I'm going to be so stressed because of like the wedding stress. And my parents and Greg were like, you got the job, you're taking the job, and they like really pushed me to do it, and it was so fun. And I had, to, I remember I got an audition the next day, so we were done with the shoot at like six or seven in the morning, and then I had an audition like, you know, a couple hours later, and everything that we were like pouring in the bar, like spritzing everywhere, was Arizona iced tea. And you know how sugary Arizona iced tea is? So it was all over me, all over my hair, and I didn't have enough time to go back home and shower before the next audition that I had. So I went literally with Arizona iced tea, like all over me. And like, you know, when like something's on you, like your skin's all like sticky and like crinkly. And then like my good thing I have like nice hair because I was like trying to comb it out. So yeah, memories, you guys. Like I said, movie magic, never a dull moment when you are, actually there are lots of dull moments when you're filming because there are like hours of downtime, but then once your scene hits, you better be prepared. Um, so anyway, all right, the tan ones are great for fall. The white ones are perfect for the coming season. Yeah, but the tan ones are good for the summer too because they are a light tan. So I was wearing them on the last, um, the last live that we did and I just love the way they looked with everything. Like I'll just give you guys an example. Um, just some stuff that I have here in my in the studio like if you wore this cute uh sweater vest like this goes with it too that's cute like if you wanted to wear an outfit like this or um giving you kind of a preview of what you're gonna see next week i'm already planning so like this looks really cute too but again you can also like look how cute the cream colored looks with 
a cute um, like summer long sleeve and then also this one too looks really cute so again you don't need both but I wear a lot of this color combo and I notice that I keep buying a lot of this sort of like neutral color combo which is very on trend right now so I feel like I could get use out of both of them but if you're in between I would say the mule is just such a great summer like spring summer style so that's the one that I would lean toward if you're gonna do it if you're gonna get one of them but if you're like me and you wear flats a lot I really think that it's beneficial to invest in both of them um okay so that's that pair moving on even though I love these we are going to move on to a very cute fun flat these are so comfortable you guys so I will take out my beach bag for this unfortunately this beach bag is going to its rightful owner on Sunday <laughs> This is the bag, the infamous bag that I bought for my sister-in-law for her birthday, and I'm um, guessing we're going to be celebrating her birthday on um, on Easter because I'm pretty sure it was like, was it yesterday? And I forgot to wish her a happy birthday. I, I always forget the March birthdays. I don't know why I always forget them. But anyway, she's going to be, she better be really happy with this gift because it's an amazing bag. So this is a Madewell bag that I got for $47 on sale. It's over $100 on Nordstrom. So I will keep checking for you guys and see if it comes back on sale because I wish I would have gotten one for myself. It's such a great size bag. But anyway, very cute, trendy, uh, trendy, comfortable, casual look here with these shoes. So these are really comfortable flats. If you guys are going on vacation, I know my mom is going to Greece. Greg and I are going to Italy soon. These are really great walking shoes because they are so um, padded. So the footbed of this is like memory foam. And then this part is also like, it feels like a pillow. It's really comfortable, really squishy, and just like a really nice comfortable slip on instead of wearing a flip-flop sometimes with flip-flops for me the like in between of my toes gets irritated especially if you're walking a lot so I like that this is a slide it really holds your foot in too so your foot's not going to be like flip-flopping around right that's how flip-flops got that term so I really like the fact that it feels like my foot is held in it's not going anywhere and it's really nice and sort of like comfy squishy so great walking sandals, great beach sandals too. You can get sand in them and sort of like, you know, air them out like this. There's really nothing that it can get stuck in here. So I really like these as just a regular like summer flip-flop. So if you, or not flip-flop, but slide if you will. So if you guys are interested, I think these are like really inexpensive too. So this is, let me see. This is the Mara footbed seat memory foam. That's what I'm telling you, $24.99. And then remember you guys, so that's what it looks like. $24.99 also comes in cream color. If you guys, I'm kind of like on the cream color train. I feel like I was never really into cream color shoes. They always kind of, I don't know, gave me like a, like my grandma vibe. I don't know. I always like thought about Floridians wearing it. No offense to Floridians, but like my grandma was like the only person that I knew that lived in Florida. So I always felt like it was a very like, you know, grandma Floridian vibe, but I love cream color shoes now. And again, the coastal grandma look is totally on trend. So roll with it, you guys. But again, if you like the cognac color, this one goes well with everything. Even though I'm wearing a gray top, this does not stay in my pants. It's like really annoying. Um, I put it in the dryer by accident and now it's a little bit shorter. So I like it even with the gray. It doesn't feel like it's competing. And then you add in this bag and it kind of all goes together, if you will. But again, you can wear whatever you want with um, like brown, tan. I feel like the, the cognac color you can wear with anything. So I really like these. Uh, hi, Amy. How are you? Oh my gosh, I just went to ban Amy by accident. <laughs> Anytime I click on the comments, whose ever name is there, it says like, do you want to ban? Are you sure you want to ban Amy? I'm like, no, I don't want to. Hi, Amy. Thanks for joining. I do not want to ban you. Uh, yes, these are uh, Universal Thread. <laughs> Effie, you know too much about Target shoes. I think Effie should be hosting the show with me or maybe instead of me because she knows from the look of the shoe which Target brand it is, like the brand within the brand. She has the eye for it or maybe she just spent too much time looking at the website. Who knows? Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys just quickly. These are the other... So last week we talked about these and they are probably my favorite slides that I've gotten this year just because they're really trendy, comfortable, elevated. The raffia um, 
like texture is super trendy now you guys know i just showed you that straw bag that i have straw bags straw hats straw shoes they're all really that whole sort of like style like casual coastal style is really trendy now so i like these they also have memory foam in them too remember everything is buy one get one 50 percent off so you could literally get these for 25 dollars and those for what's 25 divided by two help 12 dollars 13 dollars so really like this sale is amazing. So if things are in your size and you're thinking about it, just grab them. You guys know Target's return policy is like till you die. So if you like them, great. If you have second thoughts, return them. But they're, the problem with Target, it's not really a problem. <laughs> they don't have a problem. But the problem for us is that when they sell out, who knows if they're gonna get them back. And so that's, I'm kicking myself over those black shoes. Actually, I'm gonna show you the black shoes that I am having like buyer's room. Buyer's remorse for not buying. They are these, and I know Effie got them. $24, again, they are also buy one, get one half off. And as you can see here, not available for pickup, not available for delivery, and not available for shipping. So they are so cute. So if they are available in any of your targets, make sure that you grab them because look how freaking cute they are. They look really, really designer. And I just think that they, I mean, those are great shoes. So I feel like I missed the boat. I missed the boat on that one. So don't be like me. If they're available for you in your size, grab them. But also the Raffia is really trendy for the season. I have a heel that I'm going to show you next. And then this like pillowy slip on is so comfortable, perfect for vacations and everything that you guys have coming up. Um, <laughs> Amy said she's going to behave. No need to ban her. Yes, Christina, I'm buying true to size in every shoe. If I have some, I don't have anything that's not true to size. So I'm a true eight. Sometimes I feel like I have to go to eight and a half because um, I don't have a narrow foot, but then it always fits weird. So every shoe that I have here is a size eight and they all fit really well. So true to size for everything that I have. <clears throat> all right. So the next one I'm going to show you is also a raffia pattern, which I love. And my mom actually went into Target and bought these without consulting me. And then was like, do you know about these shoes? And I was like, mom, that's literally the promo picture for the live that I'm doing this week. Of course I know about them. <laughs> also, you can't tell me about a Target shoe that I don't know about, except for those black ones that Effie told me about, because those were, I didn't see those. But these are so cute. If you guys need a heel, like already I put these on and I'm like, dang, I feel like classy. I feel like I'm about to go on a date night. Something about putting on a heel just like makes you stand up taller, makes you like have better posture. So even though I'm a flats girl through and through, there is something to be said about putting on a pair of heels and like what it does to your stance, to your confidence. And um, yeah, I just, these are a really great pair. They are very, very, very comfortable. So again, not a heel person. I'm not gonna like wear these walking around the streets of Italy for 10 hours, but I will definitely wear them out to dinner. I think they're just a really, to an event, to a rehearsal dinner, um, to a baby shower. If you guys are healed person, or healed people, you're gonna love them. My mom bought them and you guys know she wears them. She wears heels all the time. So she'll be wearing these all day. They are so good, and there actually are two different um, styles of this one. So I got the sort of like plain raffia one, and you guys can see this gorgeous like braiding on the top. These are definitely shoes that you can wear to an event. They also look like they're pretty narrow, but they fit my foot really well, and I don't have a narrow foot, so I really like them. And my mom does have a narrow foot, and they fit her really well too. So these are a new day. I like that the heel is not super high and it also is kind of interesting. So it doesn't just do the come, like when heels just come in and they're like kitten heels. I'm not really a fan of that. I really like the way this one comes out a little bit. It just gives a little bit of a different profile to the shoe, which I really like. It's nice, it's interesting. Um, I'm 5'6", just for reference. And like I said, not a heel person, so I'm never comfortable in heels. But this one is about probably a two, maybe two and a half inch heel. It's really nice, really comfortable, and like I said, just gives you a little bit of an edge when you wear them, which is kind of nice to have a little bit of a different um, style once in a while. 
so let's see what you guys are saying. I tried those on today and they didn't have my size, but I still <laughs> squeezed my foot in just for the heck of it. Honestly, they are really comfortable and they're really pretty. They're just like a nice classy shoe. And again, that like straw style is super, super trendy right now. So if you're into it, I would highly suggest. And I'm going to show you guys. Um, <laughs> give Jenna your black shoes so she stops talking about them. I know these are going to be the shoes that I will be talking about forever because they are like the ones that got away. Like, I swear to God, I'm going to be like talking about these shoes until the end of time now. Um, all right. So let's go back to the screen share so I could show you guys the shoes that I'm wearing now also come in um, a different color. So I thought it was just the color, but they actually are, cause it just says cream, but I didn't know until I went into the store and like actually saw them in person that they have little pearls all over them. They are so cute. If you know a bride or somebody going on their honeymoon or a baby shower, I just think these are so gorgeous and feminine or even a graduation. Like if you have a daughter graduating college, I think they're just so like, I don't know, dainty and feminine is kind of like the only way I can describe it. So I didn't even know that they had stones on them until um, I went into the store yesterday. And then I was like, wait a minute, these are so cute. So if you guys are interested, those are really cute too. Um, okay, so, so comfortable. I have narrow feet and so I had to size down in them by half a size. I'm normally a seven and a half and in this shoe I took a seven. Okay, so thanks for that feedback. I'm wearing my normal size, which is an eight, but I don't have a narrow foot. So I think uh, my normal size is perfect. It does. It's weird because it looks like a narrow shoe. So it's like very, um, it's like deceiving because it looks like a narrow shoe, but then it's not for somebody who has a narrow foot apparently. So um, Christina said, I tried the eight and I'm normally a nine and I think the eight and a half will fit. I have a narrow foot too. Okay. This is why a live platform is the best because... You can see these shoes modeled on somebody. You can see them in a story and have somebody say, I got my true size. But until you're having a conversation with people and you see how it fits them differently, you it's like that's such invaluable feedback because so many people are going to buy so many people are going to buy these shoes off my live and I want them to be able to not have to return them and to have like a seamless buying experience. And so thank you for your input when you guys are in the store and you're doing your detective work and you're trying them on. It really helps me and it helps everybody else on these lives because everybody's foot is different and everybody is comfortable in different things. So I appreciate you guys and your feedback and everything. Um, oh yes, Evie said I should tell my daughter she's graduating grad school, super cute, congratulations. Yeah, they are really cute for graduation. They have like tiny little pearls on them. I actually took a video, it's up on my um, like to know it also of just like really cute dress shoes that they have. So I'll talk about those. I honestly, this live is flying by. I only have one more pair of shoes to show you. But when I was in Target yesterday, I took a video of all the like sort of dressier special event shoes. I don't have any here with me, but they're like awesome if you guys are looking for a graduation, an event. And then I was like kind of kicking myself because I'm like, I was so anxious about finding shoes for my sister-in-law's wedding next weekend. And all I had to do was wait a couple of weeks and Target has all these really cute event shoes. I actually, um, I showed you guys on the Amazon live that I did the shoes that I'm going to wear to her wedding. And I actually brought them to a shoe repair and had them make the strap, the, that like stone strap a little bit tighter. Um, so they're actually, he contacted me today, so they're ready. So I'm excited. And I think I picked out finally the dress that I'm going to wear to the wedding. So... I will be, I'll be doing that reveal in uh, very soon for you guys, but I wonder if you can guess which one I'm gonna wear. I'll put up the reel of all the dresses that I tried on that day and you guys can guess which one I ended up, uh, I, will, I was gonna say which one I ended up with. I bought five of them, but which one I ended up choosing. I actually was in Nordstrom uh, because I bought five that day and then I bought uh, five more because I bought them in different sizes and different colors to like see which ones I liked and I ended up returning five dresses four dresses the other day to Nordstrom and I got like nervous because I'm like are they gonna even take these back they're unworn like tags still attached but I'm like this is a lot it was like $900 worth of returns to Nordstrom which I guess 
to Nordstrom employees probably isn't that much because everything there is expensive. But I was like, they're going to get suspicious. But listen, I took Juliet with me and she was, I'm like, this is why I can't try these things on in a store. I have to just order them and try them on at home because I got kids. And if you know, you know. So she did not give me a problem when I had to return all that stuff. Um, the Hookset New Hampshire Target has one pair of eight in the black toe ring in stock. Who's going to New Hampshire soon who could bring me these shoes? Somebody tell me if you're going to New Hampshire, come back with the shoes, send them to me, ship them to me. I don't understand. Like, if it's available, why can't it be shipped to me? Come on. Come on, Target. What's going on? Anyway, I, like I said, I went all the way from here through to New York to see if like somebody my sister could pick it up for me my mom could pick it up for me I could meet them when I was getting my hair done on Tuesday but no luck which by the way can you guys tell that I am way happier and much more myself with my normal usual haircut you just can't buy this feeling of like feeling like yourself and we all know that because we're women and we do crazy things when it comes to our hair, our makeup, our eyebrows, our people, our nail techs. Shout out Effie. Um, but like we have our people and we don't want to like stray from them when we find good people, right? So I, you guys might know the backstory, uh, but I had a lot of people being like, wait, I thought you liked your haircut. So I'm not going to get into the whole thing because I got into the whole thing a couple of weeks ago with you guys. But I tried somebody new. Greg was really pushing me to start my life here since I've been here for seven years and I'm still going back to Connecticut, New York border to get my hair cut. And so I finally tried somebody instead of uprooting my entire family to take them to Connecticut and it uh, did not work out, suffice it to say. <clears throat> um, it just, you know... It was a, a good effort on my part. I did a lot of research. It was um, a pretty good effort on his part, but the hairdresser unfortunately gave me a haircut that he thought I wanted, but was not the haircut that I actually wanted. And I was very, pretty specific about it, so it was a little unfortunate. It looked great with a blowout, so I was able to kind of like fake it till you make it, if you will, but it was getting to the point where it was like really eating at me and I was like, I have to get this fixed. So my, I, I went back to my tried and true hairdresser and I honestly am like floored that she was able to fix it to the point that she did, I guess because he never cut the bottom layer of my hair, which was the weirdest thing out of this entire experience, but good because she had a lot to work with to kind of fix it up. So very happy about that. Um, yes, exactly. So you want to make sure that you find people you like, and even if it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, like, I mean, let's be real. How often do we really get our hair cut? I get, I've been getting mine cut twice a year, but I really need to get it cut like three, maybe four times a year. So after this whole experience, Greg saw what happened, saw the outcome, saw the effect that it had on me. And he watched the kids while I went to Connecticut to get my hair cut. So I think he's learned his lesson now. And I think I won't be trying somebody else for a while, which is good. Because it was, um, it's, you know, you just are used to something and you like it done a certain way. Especially hair that, you know, we have things, especially for me, like I'm on camera all the time. And I'm sure you guys, like Christina said, she couldn't look at me close enough. So you guys are seeing me like super close up and you know what I look like and that's, you know, I want to, I want to look like that all the time, you know? So at least the ideal version of me. Plus I have my sister-in-law's wedding coming up. Come on. Like I have to be able to, to feel better about, uh, about that. My mom says I should have listened to her in the first place. Yeah. Okay. Well, she, uh, actually I'm not even <laughs> going to get into that. I was going to say, she doesn't remember what it's like having to, uh, trek with your kids somewhere, but she... Yeah, they didn't even, she didn't even have a car with three children going to get her hair done. So I'm not even going to compete with that. All I'm going to say is it's a struggle over here too. All right. So last pair of shoes that I have for you guys. So these, Janice, I'm wondering if these are the ones that you said that you got. 
off of, because I linked all of them last week, but I only talked about half of them. So these are so cute and I really, really want to love them. So I'm a little annoyed that they don't work for my foot, but they might work for yours. And again, like I said, everything is on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. So if you like them, if you want to try them, grab them. It doesn't hurt me if you use the link and then return it. It, it is what it is because I want you guys to be happy. Um, but I love the ballet flat trend. Again, it goes with that sort of like boss wear trouser blazer button up shirt i wish there was a better term for this like the business casual look that's in but this makes it a little bit more feminine so if you wear like a ballet flat with a trouser it definitely takes that sort of like girl boss vibe and puts a little bit more of a feminine spin on it plus i just love the way they look with the like slim fit jean trend that's like happening right now so like how cute does this look like come on this is the ballet flat, the straight, like, slim fit jean, a sweater. I feel like a modern woman in this outfit. It gives a hint of feminine vibe. It's still trendy, comfortable, casual, but you get a hint of elevation here with the flat. I just really like the way it looks, and I'm just really, really bummed because they're not that comfortable. So, unfortunately, everything about the shoe is comfortable, but right over here is very, very uncomfortable on my foot. So Janice, I'm very interested to know if these are the ones that you bought that you liked because I already have like an indentation on my foot just from having it on for the past like minute and a half. So I love them. I love the trend. I cannot find one that doesn't hurt. So like, if you guys can see my foot, but I already have like a red mark right here and I've only been wearing them for like two minutes. So it's like right around here that just really hurts. And I'm wondering if you could like work it out and like make it like stretch it out a little bit because the rest of the shoe is really comfortable. I don't even have to undo the little clasp here. They're just really dainty, really feminine. They have cushion like memory foam in the inside. So if you guys do find them comfortable where I don't over here, they'll be great work shoes for you because you can be on your feet for a long time. But for whatever reason, they are just not that comfortable on me and I it's unfortunate because well it's fortunate for my wallet because all these shoes that I bought for the live I am not returning but unfortunately I think I'm gonna have to return these because I can't get them to stop hurting right there by my the bone on my big toe but really cute and again if you guys like everybody's feet are different so if you want to try them for you um go right ahead I love them and I wish they worked for me, but unfortunately they don't seem to be working. So cute, cute. And again, like I love it with the style. Do you see how cute a black shoe looks with the gray top? It brings like both of these colors together. And then if you, if you wear the straight, the uh, straw bag, it doesn't quite go like you could, you could get away with it because it's a neutral color, but tell me what looks better. Like, this look better gray straw and the black or this guy hint of black pulls it all together so now you have the straw which kind of stands out but it has the outline of the black which goes with the gray which goes with the shoes so I like to say add a hint of like your accessory matching your shoe even if your outfit doesn't just to kind of bring everything together. So I love this bag. I wish I could find it for you guys again. This is the one that I got from Anthropology. Um, just like really cute, casual, easy bag. Somebody asked when we're going to Italy. We are going um, in middle of May. So my parents are gonna be here staying with our kids and Greg and I are going for the longest we've ever been away from our kids before. I think it's 10 or 11 days. So it's gonna be a pretty uh, epic trip for us. So I have to start preparing. So we have some really fun lives lined up for you guys. And then of course I'll take like, I think it's two weeks off that we'll be in Italy. So yeah. Um, the Nina, sl oh, the Nina slide sandals. Okay, so it's not these. I'm interested to see if anybody else finds these comfortable because they look so good, but unfortunately they don't work for me. But like, how cute, come on. Like, these are so cute. 
And darling, I love the belly flat trend. I think Madewell has great belly flats, but every time I go to um, like search them out, they're always out of stock. So I'll keep looking for you. If I find that they're in stock, I'll post about them and I'll try them out too because I do love the trend. I think it's really cute. And it's nice to have like, I'll have the loafer mule in the cream and then instead of getting that in the black, I'll get a black belly flat so that it's a different, you know, you need a pair of black shoes, you need a pair of light color shoes. So instead of having the same one, I'll try to get the belly flat. I think that would work out if I can find one that I like. So we'll see. I will keep looking. I will never stop looking for you guys. Um, but yeah, so we have a lot lined up for the next couple of weeks. So as I mentioned on live last week, very um, excited about the Katie Austin fitness app giveaway. I think it's a hundred dollar value full year membership to her app with recipes and workouts for everybody, beginner through advanced 20 minute workouts, full body workouts, hour workouts, like yoga, stretching, walking, literally everything in this app. I use it all the time. I just love her. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that um, I do a lot of at-home workouts. I did a ton until I just started recently this past year going back to the gym and putting Juliet in the like little top spot that they have. But for, I'd say, three years, like all through COVID and up until now, so three, four years, I was just working out at home. And Katie Austin was one of the apps that I've been doing, and I just love her, and I love doing those workouts. So I talk about them a lot on Instagram and they have so generously offered one of you guys a free uh, membership to her app. So I am trying to figure out how to get one of these like giveaway websites to kind of like track and pick the winner like without me doing anything. So I've been putting that together and I was supposed to have had that out already by today, but <laughs> um, I still can't figure out how to do this website. So I have to get Greg to look at it and see what I'm doing wrong. But anyway, that is going to be going live uh, probably at the beginning of next week. And then I'll pick a winner for, um, we'll have that run for like two weeks. And then I'll do a fitness live and we'll do that giveaway. So it's going to be really fun. And then, last, like I said, there's a lot going on around here. I am like full speed ahead with this brand and doing these lives and, you know, really creating this whole platform for us. And I'm really excited about it. Also, I totally forgot about my tea here. Um, so one of the really, really fun things that I have in store is a big surprise. So I cannot tell you too much about it now, but I'm going to be launching something and I'm very excited about it. And I'm hoping to have it launched by next week so that the live could be like our launch party for it. I'm being very um, elusive right now, but there is a lot coming down the pike for me and for you. And I'm just really excited about the future. And there's a lot, like I said, a lot of hard work going into it, but I'm really excited that things are like happening right now and coming into fruition. So hopefully next week we'll be able to do the launch party for the thing. And uh, so you definitely, definitely do not want to miss the live next week. Obviously, I'll be promoting it. And I, if everything's getting off, getting off the ground, not off track, if everything's getting off the ground, um, I will obviously tell you guys what it is and everything. And that we'll do that next week. And it will be the denim skirt styling live, kind of like that long denim skirt. I'm going to show you all different ways to style it. And it'll be kind of like the launch party for that. Not for the skirt, but for the thing. And then we'll be doing the Katie Austin giveaway the next week on a fitness live. So I have a couple things planned for us, which is going to take us kind of through April. So it's going to be really fun, really exciting. Yay! Christina's excited. Christina's the only one that's excited. Thank you so much for commenting. I know I'm on a crazy delay here and it's always like, okay, I said something and now I have to wait like a full minute for anybody to respond to it. Uh, but no, I'm I'm excited, even if you guys are silently excited about it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot, uh, a lot that's going to be happening and a lot that's already happening in here. And, you know, at one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning these days, <laughs> which is the only time that I get a chance to really focus and work. And so I've just been staying up way too late and I need to not do that anymore. So hopefully I get a couple of these things off the ground and then I can... Um, 
get a little bit more sleep, but it's all good. And I'm really excited for the stuff that we have coming up. So have a great Easter. I can't believe we're ending this show. It's like less than an hour, you guys. Like I'm actually, this was a pretty good, I mean, I showed six, seven pairs of shoes. So again, use my links, please, if you're buying any of this stuff. Again, it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me, helps the show. So use the link. Um, it's in the description of the YouTube video, and it's also on my Like to Know It page. I'll link everything also on Instagram. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I talk to so many of you guys all day long, kind of all night long too. So if you have any questions about anything, of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Jennifin, J-E-N-A-F-I-N-N. Please, please subscribe to this channel if you watch these YouTube videos. Even if you don't, if you have a husband and you want to make him subscribe to this, it really helps the amount of subscribers that I have, helps me to be able to do more things with this show. So please, if you love the content that I'm uh, putting out, and even if you don't, just please subscribe to it. <laughs> and of course, I want you guys to watch this show all the time. But if you miss it, if you can't come, uh, if you can't watch the whole thing, you can always watch the replay. And of course, you can come and ask me any questions about anything as well. Um, happy Easter to everyone. Amy says you're teasing us. I know. Um, will the fitness live be an actual workout? Oh, interesting. Should we do an actual workout on the fitness live? I was going to do some of my favorite fitness equipment and maybe we'll do, so I'll show you guys some moves that I do with it. Maybe that sounds fun. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Uh, because it's Katie Austin. So she's all about health and fitness and working out. So I feel like in honor of her and her generous giveaway, we should probably, I get so many questions about how like how I work out at home. And so a lot of that has to do with like the little at home equipment that I have. So I think that's what we're going to mainly focus that live on. And that's in two weeks. And um, yeah, so I think I'll show you guys some moves and stuff like that. But we can do an actual workout too one of these days. That's fun. I like that idea. Um, so excited. Can't wait for it. Hi, Ula. Happy Easter to everybody who celebrates. Um, we are going to be doing our Easter stuff with the kids on Saturday and then going to my mother-in-law on Sunday. And also, you guys know that I host basically every family holiday and I love it. But Easter is not our holiday, so I'm not hosting it. But I did get pick up cupcakes to try that uh, trend. I think I shared it on Instagram. Um, and it was like, you know, you don't actually make make the cupcakes, although like you can if you want to. I just like don't have time to make and frost cupcakes and all that kind of stuff. So you pick up the cupcakes and then you make this like daisy out of a marshmallow on top of it. So I'll be posting all about that. I think I'm going to be trying to do that on either tomorrow or Saturday. The kids are already like, can we eat the cupcakes? And I'm Greg too. He's like, can I just have one cupcake? And I'm like, can I bring a tray of 10 cupcakes with one missing? No. Like, who are you? <laughs> But I knew that was going to happen. I should have bought two trays of cupcakes. Anyway, so I'm doing that. It should be super easy, but you never know with these Instagram things. Sometimes, <laughs> like Thanksgiving and my cornucopia croissant, things could go awry. So we'll see. It's like you cut the marshmallow into like a flower and then like put an M&M in the middle. It looks super easy. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, so that's the extent. I'm really trying to be good about not, um, you know, like making anything extravagant because I do have Passover coming up, which is going to be um, a hosting holiday for me too. But in case anybody is hosting um, Easter, I think Christina said she was hosting. I posted some really cute uh, drinks. You guys know I'm all, all about the signature drinks. So if you need some inspo, I posted some of that on my Instagram. I can keep posting that if you're interested too. Um, I'm just not making any of that because it's not my holiday. But hopefully there's some cool Passover stuff that happens. Never, never anything cool for the Jewish holidays, like ever. Actually, one of the mocktail or cocktail sites that I follow, I think I posted, they did some like really cute um, Easter bunny ears in a cocktail. I actually messaged <laughs> that person and I was like, oh, I'm really excited to see what you do with the seven plagues. <laughs> and I'm like, wonder if they're going to be able to come up with a cocktail for the seven plagues. We'll see. But it would be nice if we had some like thematic things that we could do for Passover and make it a little bit more interesting. We have a Seder plate. We can do things. We can do cool things. So we'll see. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but, um, that's where the creativity comes in. That's where I have to be like, okay, so spring, what do I do? Um, but anyway, so that's going to be the next after Easter. That's what I'll be focusing on probably. 
Um, but yeah, so lots of stuff coming up. So next week, if all goes well, will be our launch party of the thing. And then the week after that will be the Fitness Live and Katie Austin giveaway. So when you guys see that post in uh, on my Instagram, in the story, and in the actual post, it's going to be like a link for all the rules for the giveaway, basically. So you're going to have to, which you guys probably already do, you're going to have to follow me on Instagram, tag a friend in the post, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then you'll be entered into the giveaway. It's like, you know, a couple things like that. And then one of you guys will win a free Katie Austin yearly app. So it's a hundred dollar value. And like I said, it really is invaluable because recipes, workouts and everything. So very excited for one of you guys. Happy Easter. Have a great weekend. Keep in touch with me. I want to know what you guys are wearing. I'm honestly embarrassed to say that like, I'm not excited to dress up for Easter. And like, I don't even want to like think about what I'm going to wear because of this weather. But I know... All of you guys are going to be on pins and needles to, to know what I'm wearing. So I want to know what you're wearing too. I want to know what the weather is like and hopefully it gets a little bit better. So I love all of you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you, if not before, next Thursday for an epic live show. Have a great night. Have a great weekend and have a happy Easter. Bye. <laughs>